we good? We're all part of the show, right? <laughs> all right, we're gonna get started. Um, so thank you everyone for coming out. It's a beautiful yes. evening to be outside for this. It this is. is only our mm -hmm. second uh, in-person program. So we're very excited to be back doing programming. Oh, yeah. um, so welcome to the library. I'm Elena, I'm the assistant director. And uh, tonight we have our mystery author panel. We're gonna be making our own mystery. And I'm just gonna uh, introduce our panel for this evening and then pass it on to them. Um, so we'll start on the end here is Richard Cass. Um, he is the author of the Elder Darrow Jazz Mystery Series. And Solo Act was a finalist for the 2017 Maine Literary Awards in Crime Fiction. And its prequel, In Solo Time, won the 2018 Maine Literary Award in Crime Fiction. And he lives in Cape Elizabeth. And then we have Barbara Ross, and she is the author of the Maine Clambake Mysteries Series and the Jane Darrowfield Mysteries. And her books have been nominated for multiple Agatha Awards for Best Contemporary Novel, and she has won the Maine Literary Award for Crime Fiction as well. And she lives in Portland. And then we've got Brenda Buchanan here on the end, and she is a lawyer and formal, former journalist who sets her crime novels in and around Portland. And the three books in her Joe Gale series, Quick Pivot, Cover Story, and Truth Beat, feature a newspaper reporter. And he has a modern media savvy, um, with modern media savvy, who is covering the cops and crime beat. And she is currently working on a series featuring a criminal lawyer named Neva Pierce, whose passionate defense of her clients leads her deep into the rough and tumble world of down east crime. Um, so these are our mystery authors for the evening, and they will be building a mystery right before our eyes, so we can welcome them. <laughs> 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 Apparently. All right. So who's in charge here? Well, <coughs> I I don't know. I don't know. Um, Where should we thank start? Thank you. It's wonderful yes. to be yes. here. Our friend Barb Kelly is in the back with That's right. uh, books, and we'd be happy to sign those, etc. Yep. And and I will give my normal pitch, which even if you read yourself, books also make lovely gifts. Yes. So, uh, why don't you give the rundown, Dick, about how okay. this works. Okay, so here's the deal. We, we asked you to put bits of information in each one of these bags for us. Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to start, we'll probably start with characters, yes? I think so. Yeah, I think okay. so. So, we're going to start with names and come up with some characters and maybe some roles for them. Things some that they might do. Occupations. occupations. So, yeah, we've got occupations. We have a wonderful. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. A lot of here. stuff in here. This Don't, is great. We've got rocks in here. Mixing too. them up. Yeah, there's some rocks that's, too. That's good. That's a good thing. That's in, not just in the weapons bag. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we got rocks in all of So, should I in pick our a couple Yeah, pick here? a couple names and all then right. we'll, we'll see right. what we can do here. Clyde. <clears throat> Clyde. A classic Clyde. name. That Clyde. Is pretty classic. So, James so? Clyde. Yes. I know Clyde. you guys. You changed well, your minds halfway through, so. Let's uh, <laughs> no, we're going. No, we'll accept get, Fly, but we won't decide look. what he is. Yet. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So or who got, is. Oh, got this one. Elmore. Elmore. That's my handwriting. Elmore. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, here's some uh, occupational type things. Okay. Um, do Which we, we want? Can do. Well, let's. Uh, you want to you get characters first, or you want to? Yeah. Do, let's yeah, do just one more, more name. At least one okay. more name. <clears throat> Are we doing Elmore? Uh, yes. Okay. Demelza. Demelza. Oh, Demelza. I like that. <laughs> D-E-M-E-L-C-A. -E Demelza. Yeah. Fabulous okay. name. Thank yeah. you for All whoever. Right, so I think I'm, I'm thinking like a fortune teller. Maybe. Right? Could be. So maybe a... Depends. So do you think we have that's a... what the occupations are. You don't get to decide. These right. people decide. Oh, that's right. But do we think... This is we, not my book. We, <laughs> <laughs> I know. <clears throat> do we think we have a... Victim and a sleuth here. What maybe? about what about one more one female more? One character? One more female name. Yeah. Okay. Wanda Abelman. Oh, I like that. That's a good name. That's, That's good an name. excellent yeah. name. I may use that. A B E L M A N. I hope it's not somebody's best friend because I think I, I'm gonna steal it. They might get. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> you might show up in a book. For now, okay. we may need some more characters, but for now, that's yeah. the group. So. What All do right. they do for a living? So got? I have a list of um, a list of occupations. So I like the f the first one is priest. Priest. Oh, Ooh. do you think one of them is a priest? Elmore. Think Elmore's a priest. Elmore's a priest. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Father Elmore. Yeah. Think uh, a minister. 
Well, I don't know. Is this, yeah, is this a primarily? Is this, I was going to. He could like, be an Episcopal. Is, is this priest. a Catholic crowd or an Episcopal crowd? Or, I mean, what we, Everybody what are we talking seats about here? Right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not a high church one, for sure. Yeah, yeah let's make <clears throat> Elmore a priest. Okay. And I have a barmaid. Even That's going to be Demelza. Demelza's, Demelza's going to be the barmaid, barmaid, right? Okay. Yeah. Is this occupation? What else we got here? Uh, um, we need some Clyde. What's Clyde do for a living? Clyde, I, I have a lieutenant commander here. Clyde? In the state police? Cop. Whatever. Commander, yeah. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander and State Which Police. Which doesn't necessarily mean she's going to be the one that solves the mystery. No, no. not at all. Okay. She could be the person who did it. Right. All right. I don't, want, I don't want an astrophysicist. Options too, around the table here. because I can't remember what they do. Okay. <laughs> Clyde. What do we got? And Clyde is, this just says Ranger. Park Ranger. So, Park Ranger? Yeah, because we might have a Texas, setting. Texas Lone Ranger. Ranger. <laughs> Lone well, Ranger. Let's just put Ranger and we'll wait and see what our yeah, setting yeah, okay. is. And yeah. that'll, right. that'll help okay. us figure it out. Right. Come up with an excellent setting for us. So is this, and we could is really it, have two. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, is this the, like the geography of the whole story? Or we don't know. just where like the body is? Oh. oh, there's a choice here. Let me know if you'd like either of these. Supermarket or abandoned school bus. Hmm. Can we get a show Very hands? specific. Can we get a show of hands? <laughs> oh, abandoned ooh, school ooh. bus. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> I have another one that's also <clears throat> transportation related on a ferry. Oh. We were just talking about the Isles yeah. of Shoals. Yeah. 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 So we're moving toward the coast. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. This is going to be a coastal story. Okay. 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 All right. So, so on where's a ferry. the body going to be? Is it going to be on the ferry? Is it going to I be in the bus? Well, I think that's, we're going I to have to figure out. I think the body's in the abandoned school bus. I think the body's, I think the body's, the body's in the abandoned school bus. So, and it's oh. on the ferry. Oh, there's it's a, a twist. Ferry. Oh. There's a twist. So who drove it on? Clearly we have CCTV to know who drew, drove it on. That's we may need some more characters, but we're, yeah. we're for right now, abandoned school bus and a ferry. Yeah, we need somebody with a class three license. Yes, right? there you go. <laughs> Well, I don't know, <laughs> priest, ranger, barmaid. The barmaid is our most likely. <laughs> yeah, you're probably, you're probably right. right. You're going to kill right. somebody you don't right. to kill. So the whole premise of these, this whole thing is that three control freaks try to control the story. <laughs> because there's a reason that people create whole worlds where they're God. Aha. <laughs> Hiking pole or a BB gun? Oh, well, the hiking pole fits with the ranger -y. and the ferry too. I'm mean, taking the ferry. the ferry for a hike. Go so to take a hike out at We're the Isles of Shoals. We're going to Mount Hagen. Yeah, it could be that too. I don't know. I like that. I yeah. like that a lot. Yeah, Barb makes a great point. I mean, we all write different kinds of mysteries too. Yeah. And we have to. So that can get a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I mean, my stuff is kind of dark and urban and, and noirish. And how would you describe yours? Traditional, well, mine are called cozy, cozy mysteries, which means that um, they're very traditional and have an optimistic view of life. And violence generally takes place off, off the, the page. page. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And mine are somewhere in between. And uh, yeah. but yeah, there's some violence in mine that happens on the page. And I like a good weapon as much as an arrow. <laughs> so. Uh, I like a hiking pole. I like a hiking pole. <laughs> but I think I could do a lot with a hiking pole. Yeah. In Dick's, we might actually see someone impale the victim. Yes, that's correct. In mine, we're only going to find the victim someone after Someone will tell somebody that they were... Has stabbed. been impaled. Yeah. Right, right, yes. right. And in uh, Brenda's case, you'd read it in the newspaper. Right, exactly. <laughs> so why don't you... Um, or they'd be prosecuting the crime. Because right. it's right. legal mysteries, yeah. So why don't we look at uh, motives? Dick, okay. they're right in front of you. Okay. Moti and at some point we're going to have to decide what kind of a mystery this is. Yeah, that's true. Well, it, let's see if it tells us, if they tell us. We, <laughs> My we dog was run over by your wife. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah, that seems a little excessive. That's a little, to I kill him for that reason. murder is a little excessive. Yeah. Don't kill pets. In mine, you can't kill pets. That's right. No, I don't kill pets. I don't kill pets. 
<laughs> yeah, it's sort of a cardinal rule, you know. Yeah, it actually yeah. is. Don't kill the actually, pets. You can kill you as many people as you want. Right. <laughs> Just don't mess with the cats. Don't pay it. Yeah, exactly. Don't mess with the cats. <laughs> yes, true. well, there you go. True. There's Murder. that. Jealousy. Jealousy. That's a nice broad one. Jealousy is a nice broad one. And remove competition. Jealousy and remove competition are kind of related motives. Yeah. I like that. But competition for what? Bar mating, priesting. Well, that's what we're going to decide. Competition in this. All right. Well, we yeah. still don't know well, what Clyde. Don't... Oh, Clyde's a ranger. That's right. Okay. Clyde's a ranger. There is could some, be. Yeah. you know, there could well, there be is, some yeah, like, territorial... Well, like park rangers aren't really right. cops, and cops don't really Right, or at least cops yeah. don't want to treat park rangers as though they're cops, but right. technically under the law, they actually have quite a bit. If you read Paul Dwaron's books, you know that, you know, fish and game officers are technically cops, so, right? So what if we had, um, what if we had a cop who was a peer of Wanda mm -hmm. killed? by a hiking pole which was going to po point the finger at a park ranger type. No, oh, you know I, I don't think we want to make her the victim. I really don't. I think yeah. that there's a lot of use in the story to having... No, I don't want to make Wanda the victim, but I'm thinking oh. like a peer, uh, like another cop. But what if oh, the, I see. The, it's like a tunnel type situation? The bus is on the ferry, right? right. It leaves the mainland where the state police are in charge, ah, and it okay. gets to the island where the, where ranger, the rangers are in charge. charge. Right. So it's a jurisdictional question. We are going to come up with a good victim, and we need both a name and an occupation for yes. them. Uh, Andrea Ledbetter. <laughs> poor Andrea. Andrea Ledbetter. Uh, oh my God, poor Andrea. Okay, and and uh, how was she killed? Andrea. With, the, with a... With the, with oh, we're sure of the hiking pole. Right. And Andrea, what was the motive? Andrea is a plumber. She's a plumber. And on an island, a oh, plumber. Right. I used to it's live like on gold. Peaks Island for many years. Yeah. It's like the most venerated profession on a place like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. yeah. Old houses, yeah. need a lot of work. The plumber is like, you know, yeah. so, high status. So she's the victim. Good thing. Yeah. She's the victim? She's the victim. Okay. So she's on the ferry... To go to the island, some, right. some island, somewhere. Jealousy. So somebody's so jealous. Of her business? Um, of her personal What's life? the competition piece? To remove the competition. So perhaps whoever killed her wanted in on her plumbing business. She lives on the island. Oh. oh so yeah. she's okay. the go-to. Andrea lives on the island. She's the island plumber. So that, you know, she has quite a bit of, uh, you know, she's well-to-do. She's busy. Uh-huh. She's very successful. She used to be, yeah. Right. She has, <laughs> now she's dead, but she has, you know, a specific set of skills. Because right. we never lived on an island, but we had an old house in Booth Bay, and we used to call our venerated plumber the pipe whisperer. Yes. Because the <laughs> fixtures in our house were so old mm -hmm. yeah. that no one else could would go near them. That's absolutely they right. They wouldn't even yeah. go into the room. Yeah, I'm delighted to see the plumber thing up there. I come from a family of plumbers. <laughs> And so that's why I hold them in such high esteem. And it's true. I mean, many places when I was a kid, my father was very well known as somebody who could keep a heating system going. Well, uh, now like, you have okay. to get like, tough okay. in this business. Well, yeah. I was going to say we got a state police detective and a ranger. So it's feeling maybe a little procedurally, mm. like it may, might be more of a procedural. So does that mean we need more suspects? I think we do. Yeah, I think we need some suspects. People who would have a motive to kill, kill a plumber. Want the plumber, Andrea. Well, we do we need we need a competing plumber? Is that are we still on the competition thing? Yeah, we yeah. we definitely need Or like, somebody maybe can, somebody who wants to develop on the island. Or somebody, yeah. Somebody who's uh yeah. Uh let's or see. Or maybe somebody from Massachusetts. Yeah, it could be right. Somebody who's like moved here from away who decides that they're going to be Come in and move in on Andrea's business. Um, okay. I seem to have... Oh, that's too close to the same name. Alfonso. Alfonso. <laughs> He's a plumber's name. He's a plumber's name. <laughs> so is Alfonso's the potential competition for... Yep. What's her name? Um, Andrea. 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 Yeah, 
Oh, it's, two A. I like that. Yeah. Andrea. The, the truck plumbing. The truck's all where they say, oh, oh. yeah, well, like. Wait, maybe. Oh, maybe he wants to force a merger. Yeah. Well, her her business is already called A Plus Plumbing. He won't even have to redo the truck. And part of why she's successful is because she's the pipe whisperer. Yeah. And he's just a guy who thinks he knows everything about everything. <laughs> and maybe he does, and maybe he doesn't. So naturally, I would say that you know once they get through this jurisdictional dispute, Wanda and Clyde would first start looking at Alfonso. Well, they might, and I think they're they are also in competition. I think competition Ooh, is a theme here. Uh -huh. okay? okay, the ranger and the state cop, they're talking to witnesses, they're interviewing people, and they're keeping information close to the vest yeah. so, from each other. So I think that the one of them, the state cop, let's say, has Wanda. a theory. Wanda has a theory that it's competition, it's Alfonso, whereas Clyde is maybe looking into the personal life, Andrea's personal life. Was there an affair? I mean, it's right there. <laughs> How Alfonso can we not talk? Well, no, maybe yeah. not. Somebody was having an affair. That's an alternate oh, motive. Yeah. Elmore, because he's the priest. He's the priest. Uh -huh. He'd want to keep it quiet. Yep, yeah, he, he would. would. Although I think we said he might be Episcopal, but he still shouldn't be out. Galloping around. Yeah. No, Tom Catting around. But mm -hmm. I think an affair could be the other competition. When, when, I, when I heard that motive of competition and jealousy, Ooh. Mm -hmm. I immediately thought, Somebody's running around. Somebody's so is die. Elmore married or is... Uh... I don't know. Is so Elmore we, married? Yeah, you know, I don't know. Did we decide what kind of priest he was? Is he, a, is he an Episcopal priest? You... I mean, it would be, it would be more intense if he were married and were... Yeah, okay. He's married to... Around. Yeah. He's, he is married. He's an Episcopal priest and he's married to... Um, Gladys McGillicuddy. <laughs> <laughs> How about, how about just Gladys? Gladys. <laughs> Gladys no, is they a have great different name. last is... names. Oh, Elmer you doesn't have a last Gladys name. Like four books ago. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I remember She's Gladys. And, and Gladys is a postal carrier. Oh, but a postal carrier knows a lot, too. Yeah. That is exactly yeah. right. That's an excellent so profession. All right. And the Episcopal priest may know a lot because Ooh. people confess not realizing he's having an affair. Right. If he is, uh, if he's the one having the affair, which I think he each, is. Each of those is going to drop different kinds of clues. Right. Yes, definitely. Right. I mean, right. Right. Some of which are going to be like red herrings and blue herrings. Oh, and of course, herrings. of course, <laughs> absolutely. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. Okay. So. So if we decided that it is Elmore who's having the affair. Yeah. Okay, okay with so Gladys, and she's the recap. Or, no, she's the male woman. Okay, no, so it's like male man. You know, is the wife. He was having the affair oh, with the victim. Oh, with the victim. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. Which Demelza tells Clyde. Right. Right. Wait, Elmore and Gladys are married. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Elmore and Gladys are married. Right. Sorry. Yeah. That's a, that's Andrea right. is the victim. Andrea is the victim. So was he having an affair with Andrea? Was she, he having an affair with somebody else and Andrea knew about it and she was going to tell Gladys? Ooh. Or she was going to tell his boss at the church. Tell the bishop. Yeah. That could be mess. Ugly. That could be very ugly. Yeah. What other avenues well, are we... And, and we've got the, the police competition. Yeah, right. we've got the so police got, professional two competition. Sets, two sets of... Uh, yeah, so what you, if you guys have some ideas, you're <clears> welcome <throat> to, th you know, shout them out. You've got some theories here. Now that we've got our cast of characters and we're talking about motive yeah, and stuff. Yeah, this is the point and when, when you're writing a book where you go away for three months. Right. Have we hit Have all the bags? Yes. Did we, get, we did motives, we right? We did yeah. motives. Okay. We did weapons. We did that. Okay. Do we need... Um, so, so I, in an abandoned school bus. Okay, so we'll start playing it out. Yeah. There's a school bus. It's an abandoned school bus, so they're hauling it onto the island off, or no, off, off the, the island? off the island for disposal. Off the island for disposal. Okay. And they oh, get it onto oh. they get it onto the pier and then they go in to hook it up to the tow truck. And the guy goes inside to put it in out of gear, take it out of gear. Yeah. And he finds a body behind the wheel. <gasps> Andrea. With uh, impaled. A hiking impaled pole. on it. Now that or, we should be asking who on the island is a hiker. True. Yeah. 
What? You always have people oh, who have their own motives for talking she's, about she's talking to the cops. Maybe she is part of a hiking club. Does she hike? I mean, she's the mail delivery person, which <laughs> she, <laughs> she does a right. busman's holiday for her to hike. Right. right. Gladys, right. Gladys is Elmore's wife, right? Right. Yes. Right. So this is part of the problem with Elmore. Is she doesn't hike. So how are they? The, that this is. I don't know about you guys. This is always tricky for me. Is how you obscure this for a long time. Right. I think we might need one more suspect actually so. and then but then something you know somehow it comes together yeah. you know it could be a receipt for buying the hiking pole like whose hiking pole was it okay that's one question i would ask right away and there could be you know a bunch of people who had hiking mm -hmm. poles and what, what if they were having a, a hiking event on the island ah like a stranger, festival a hike. stranger hikers as well as and and that's where like a birding who, festival or something right, that you yeah. hike out onto the cliffs and you know yeah they do that at like Deer Isle every year in May. Yeah. Oh, and what if we need one more name? Okay. We call her Stephanie Plum. Keep coming up with the same names here. Pick the white ones. Pick the white ones. Oh, the white ones are ours. Yes, right. Of course. Jake. 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 Oh, great. Great we can, name. Oh, we can yeah. work with Jake. Jake. Oh, the white ones. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jake and Andrea had an inappropriate... Uh, no, not, it wasn't inappropriate. They studied for the exam together. They did. All they right. whispered. So he, among other people, were on the island yeah. when this happened. So, okay, you got an island, which is nice. It's kind of like having uh, uh, one, you locked know... Room. Yeah. Locked room. Locked room. You've got a certain number of sus people, you know. You're on an island. It's great. You can control how many people you're talking about who are the suspects so you can take an inventory the police are figuring out okay who was here and at the time that the killing happened both on the boat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and had access to the abandoned school bus between the time it got hauled onto the last time mm -hmm. anybody was on it right and is the it, hiking pole one of a pair Ooh, is it what do you think don't people hike with yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I, I think too that maybe Jake went home before the body was discovered. So Clyde has to ask Wanda to go interview Jake. Oh, right, because he's on the mainland. Right. So yeah. the question is, right. is Jake really in the frame here? Right, because when when Wanda comes out to the island. He definitely is feeling like you're on my turf. And she's right. saying, you're a ranger. I mean, I'm a lieutenant commander. You know, we got to work on this together, but you're certainly not in charge. And uh, when she, he clearly has no jurisdiction on the mainland, but arguably she has some on the island. So that, right. that mm -hmm. really sets up the tension mm -hmm. there. Um, and is everybody able to hike around and see the scene of, you know, the hiking trails? Or is there anybody who's like maybe mobility challenged among these people so that they have to count on other people to describe, you know, where the hiking might have taken place or something like that? Uh, well, maybe... Um, maybe that's the reason they use hiking poles. Maybe Alfonso had a terrible plumbing-related accident. Mm -hmm. And so he's been in uh, rehab. You know what it was? Part of it is he has to use two hiking He just had double knee replacements. <laughs> because plumbers have to crawl That's into a lot good, of spaces. Yeah. And yeah. believe me, that Backs is Backs and knees. Yeah. Backs and knees. He's just had knee replacements so that he is a guy. There you go. I knew there was some mobility so that, thing that kept right, coming so to me. That, so that leaves him in a position to see something suspicious that the other hikers don't see because he moves more slowly right yep. right or not at, or not at all right and of course they're looking at him because he uses those hiking poles right yeah. but he says i'm not the only one you right. know yeah. right right yeah. maybe there's even like a you know hiking gear rental place on the island so there's a whole bunch of hiking poles that kind of all look the same so not to get too technical but <laughs> <laughs> Did and is Andrea? Did she get killed in the bus, or did she get killed outside the bus and put, put in the on? Bus? That's an excellent question, and it's <clears throat> always one that you need to ask for sure. And I think yeah. it's really important because the bus, so you wouldn't be in there regardless. Right. Right. You wouldn't have any business being in there unless yeah. you met 
somebody there. You had a little yeah. liaison or something. Oh, busted bus. Because hey, who, hey, who, it's the only. It might have been. It might not have been a. You never school lived bus. on an island, did you? No. You've never lived on an island, right? Exactly. Uh, well, well, shelter in the rain, I guess. Well, I'm just thinking that if the body was put on the bus, we're gonna have to go with a suspect who could carry. Right. Andrea. Right, right. I want to stop for a second and ask if it's not like a yellow school bus necessarily. It could be the kind of bus that people convert into a camper. Right. A camper kind of bus, yeah. so that does make a liaison a little bit more possible. So someone said to Andrea, for some reason, which could have been... Gladys could go in with Alfonso, right? Mm. Or so, Jake texted to say he was coming to the island and Andrea said, great, I'll ditch my lover and meet you on the bus. Right. That works. Right. That works. She could have she gotten got a text from somebody <laughs> saying, Meet me at the love bus at 10.30 tonight. And she's alive at the love bus. She's alive when she gets the love bus. She's not when the love bus comes off the ferry the next morning. Alfonso might have. I think yeah. Alfonso, you, he's the dark horse, man. You cannot ignore <laughs> Alfonso. <laughs> Professional jealousy. But why would she have met Alfonso on the love bus? She didn't know it was him. She was just a text oh. that said, That's meet me stupid. at the love bus. No. And she no. thought. <laughs> no, no, no. He's, he, he, he knew Alfonso. No, Alfonso knew that she and Jake had had something. Mm -hmm. He pickpockets Jake's phone. Oh. Meet me right? at the love Meet bus. Meet me at the love bus. Right. So, so <clears throat> Clyde with his superior, no, not Clyde, um, Wanda with her superior forensics and whatnot, she's gotten Verizon to, to say that the text came from Jake's Phone. Right, which points and, the finger at Jake. And but so Jake, Jake is, is like, on the hot seat. Yeah. I lost my phone on that damn island. Right. Yeah, I was out hiking and it disappeared. Right. Fell out of my pocket. Fell out of my pocket. And I lost the hiking pole too. I lost the hiking pole too. <laughs> there you go. I'm a little scattered. <laughs> I was trying to climb down on the rocks to get it. Yeah, I yeah, lost my no, hiking pole. No, he did. Hiking he pole. fell. Yeah. He no. fell. Oh. Right? He fell and then he woke up like 15 minutes later. He only had one pole. And he didn't even notice, notice that his phone was gone. So, like, maybe somebody, like, made him fall. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I'm, I'm sorry, that's what I implied. Right. Yes. See, so he thinks he fell, but in truth, he was, you pushed. know, pushed. He was pushed. Pushed down. Right. Okay. But who, who pushed? And all yeah. the other hikers that's were the question. gone when who he was woke it? up. Yeah. Who's, who's the killer? <laughs> who's the killer? Okay, so. Right. Tell me, again, who's sleeping with those? <laughs> I'm sorry, you want the romance <laughs> aisle. <laughs> See the little heart? Okay, so Elmore and Andrea are still oh, together. Okay. Yeah. And one of the plumbers. The, the, <laughs> right. No, she used to she used to have a thing with Jake. But she oh, in school. In school. In school. So but Jake's not now. her ex and yeah. now she's with the priest. Right. And then when Jake comes back on the island he's trying to rekindle their stuff. Yeah. Right. Sure. <laughs> Well, I was gonna I was gonna make a plumbing joke, but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna work. No, it wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so exactly. All right. Okay. All right. So All right. ferries. Okay. We know everybody who's sleeping. You've got people who drove the bus onto the ferry, though. She can't be in the driver's seat because somebody drives that bus onto the ferry. Wait, I thought it was abandoned. Oh, so it was towed onto the ferry. Right, it was yes. towed, okay, right. it was towed, towed onto the ferry. Okay, onto the ferry. Yeah. That helps. Somebody have seen her? <laughs> well, well, she doesn't have to be behind the wheel. She doesn't, and it doesn't. Again, well, it's and actually, not a school if it's a love bus, bus, it's a love she's bus. In the back. If it's the love <laughs> bus, she's obviously back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's obviously in the back. In the love part of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Off the island. It was coming it's off being the towed island. Towed onto the ferry to go to go over and into the junk. Yes, and, and everybody's grieving because the love bus is going to be no more. They're right. all going to have to find a new place. And then they find to... out they're going to need a new plumber too. <laughs> yeah, not only that, right. Not only we is lost the love our bus place gone. where we can have little liaisons and yeah. we're down a plumber. Yeah. And we're stuck with Alfonso yeah. who may or may not be a good plumber. Yeah. Uh, right. He was just maybe a greedy guy. So, okay, so our suspects are Alfonso. Right. Jake. Jake. Yeah. Uh, Clyde, because he saw her kissing Jake when he came over to the island, 
and he would did not want the competition. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> when Jake comes back to the island, Jake comes over to the island, he she's alive. Yeah. Right, yes, when Jake arrives on the And they have fly. a big hug and a big kiss, and Clyde sees that and gets very jealous. But Clyde, it's Clyde's not Clyde. I mean, I'm sorry, not Clyde. Elmore. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Elmore is, <laughs> right, Elmore's very Elmore. concerned about Andrea's affections. <clears throat> yes, okay. and he's, yes. he's thinking, you know, I'm married. She could walk away for the old boyfriend any day now. Right. And they certainly seemed happy to see each other when he arrived on the island. So <clears throat> Elmore is a potential suspect. Okay. And then she, he whispered to her, come to me and you can be a plumber on the mainland. So everybody was worried. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, or, or it just it would just have to be a rumor. He wouldn't have to say yeah, anything. Yeah, he wouldn't have to say He wouldn't even have to say Alfonso is spreading the rumor. Oh, yes. That, that she's going to leave the gonna island. That she's going to leave the island. Right. right. So Clyde spends a lot of time talking to Demelza, talking to Gladys about... Yeah. Did, did anybody say to you that um, right. that Andrea was planning to leave the right. island? And of course, Gladys, because Elmer's her husband, is like, "Oh yeah, she was out of here." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> plus, we, plus you got some some nice secondary motives there with like people with broken down heating systems and <laughs> yeah. things that didn't really want. Yeah. And it'll leave. Right. right. Exactly. I think that's right. Yeah. The one person we haven't talked a whole lot about here is. Demelza. I know. True. And you know, she is privy to a lot of information, but she may have her own jealousies and her own things mm. that she's aware of. So make a case that Demelza's in the middle of it somehow. Well, we know that Demelza has also been using so during the summer when everything's occupied, the, the love bus is mm. pretty much the only game Yeah, it's like a town. schedule on the outside, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we know that Demelza has also been in the love in bus. the love bus. With her left fingerprints right. are all so, over. Right, so the, right, the the love bus is full of fingerprints. Right. right. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. There, yeah. Right. There's no usable forensic evidence this is, in the love bus. This is bus. a whole chapter well, for see, Wanda. I don't see this happening in the summer, frankly. Yes, yeah, spring, spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because then only certain people would have been on the love bus. Yeah, and you're cleaning up the island, right? It's spring cleanup. <laughs> so nobody's that. cleaning the love bus. Yeah, well, and it could be. You know <laughs> who's behind that? There's I a think little duty roster. <laughs> Elmore. Like in the Elmore party. could be saying as a morals thing, we got to get rid of this love bus. It's bringing Ooh, oh, everybody's oh, on okay. the road to, right. you know. No, but he's no, really no. only Perdition. saying that to convince Gladys that he's not using the love bus. You bet. Right. And you bet. also because he's trying to remove temptation right. from himself. He's which got all these Andrea conflicted would stuff. Also yeah. Remove temptation <laughs> from himself. Right. Wow. It would. You know it what? Would. I'm I'm starting to feel like we're gonna have a secondary victim. Too. Oh no. Yeah. Who's gonna I don't know. Who are we gonna find yeah. it? Who's you know who always does that how many people yeah, read Ann Cleves? Ann Cleves books? Yeah. yeah. Her books always kill two people. Yeah. And it's really, she's a great author. And, you know, she you're is. going along, you really like this character, and all of a sudden, poof, they're gone. <laughs> so who do we like who's going to go? All right, second victim. All right, it can't be either of the cops, right? Right. Uh, well, I guess it could be, but I think that would be too complicated. Alfonso? Uh, I think Alfonso. I, I got the title. Someone is killing the plumbers. <laughs> right, right. Plumbing the depths. <laughs> okay, moving right along. <laughs> okay, so we need somebody. Alfonso is no longer a suspect. He's now a second victim. No, well, he's a see, suspect I, until he gets killed. I, no? Yeah, I'm you not sure like about Alfonso. I think Demelza, because she talks too much. She's been talking. Yeah, she knows Demelza too much. Knows Demelza, too much. everybody, yes. somebody, yeah. And and actually, all the times Demelza wants is working to get Alfonso to be the island plumber. She. Oh. She's working either that or the she's Andrew. like, yeah, she's she's either there together oh. or she's got some kind of connection to him. So yeah. the narration here is alternating Clyde and Wanda. So it's yeah. like yes. one chapter of Clyde. Right. And Clyde's right. been talking, been going into the bar to talk to Demelza a lot. He's kind of developed a little crush on her. 
Yeah. So when he finds her body, uh -huh. it's, it's a blow. Yeah. yeah. I think that's right. And he's worried that she told him something that put her in danger. And that's and he's why she's desperately trying to remember. Right. What what was it that she said? Because that would have put her at danger. Hmm? Demelza. 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 <laughs> Who we just died? died. Anne's like, Who's just died? <laughs> and worse but, than that, we all go, Demelza. <laughs> <laughs> but the interesting thing with that sort of double narrative thing is that then you've got Wanda who's trying to solve the crime with all the traditional police, forensic, doodly doodly do. And she's got people coming from the mainland to help. Right. And he's what's his name again? Clyde. Clyde. Clyde, Clyde is doing it like old school. neighborhood, old school, yep. chitty chatty, talk talk, uh, yep. who's doing what to whom. How many people are on this island in the fall, spring? Spring. Spring. Yeah. Um, and we've already lost two. Tourist season's coming. It's going to wreck the economy if we don't solve this right. murder before Jaws. summer. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so now Wanda and yeah. Clyde are So that's like together. midpoint act two, right? Yes. Oh two. yeah, heading yeah. heading into act three. Right. Yeah, exactly. All yeah. right. And so they got to work together. Now they got to work together. Yeah. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and Clyde, racked by guilt, is trying to remember what Demelza may have hinted at or said that she knew that would have made her the second victim. Right, so it's all, you know, Who's what What reason would each <laughs> one of them know. Do we have, have? a killer? We don't have a killer yet. We don't have a no, no, we're it's, deciding. It's, We've got suspects. It's Jake or Alfonso, Alfonso or Elmore, right? Or, Elmore, yeah. huh? or Gladys is the dark horse here. Yeah. yeah. Because Thank her you. husband was having an affair with You bet. So don't underestimate so Gladys. El Elmore, Elmore represents the island side, and then Jake and Alfonso represent I mean, if we're going to talk about this in terms right. of the off but, islands and the islands. Yeah, but they the question is really, what are their relationships with the people who died? You right. Know? right. So, you know, the relationship with Andrea, you know, Alfonso was competing with her professionally. Mm. Uh, Jake was her ex-lover. Doesn't mean that they, they were still crazy for each other. It could have been a really bad breakup. Mm. that he's never gotten over mm. you know so i mean he he each of them had connections to her and then did who and then elmore um obviously uh had right. a connection with her because so they were current lovers but she might leave the island she might rat him out to his wife mm -hmm. i mean right so jake could have thrown himself off that rock and dropped the 10 feet and ditched mm -hmm. his phone right he could have. Sure. And and Gladys is clearly in shape from lugging that twenty pound bag of mail around. She could have pushed Jake. And I she don't knows the island like the back of her hand. Getting through someone's rib cage with a hiking yeah. pole is very yeah. easy. I think you have to. Yeah, be. I think you have to. Get Especially if it's a kind that the little tip on the bottom screws off and makes a point. You mm -hmm. know, not the yes. the little rubber tip. Just yeah. You've obviously given this some thought. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I've been sitting here thinking about it. But yeah. I was just thinking that Elmore hears things, as we said, in the confessional. Uh -huh. And maybe he's been a little loose pillow talk with Andrea. Maybe Elmore hmm. told Andrea something he shouldn't have. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're right. We're, we're kind of everybody's secrets on the island are at stake at this point. Yeah. There are no so secrets suspects. on an yeah. island. So it's the, really the truth. <laughs> but you're right about the relationships. I mean, it's who's... who's screwed up relationship puts them the most at risk. Yes. All right. So one of the things you always want to do is to subvert reader expectation, right? And yeah. As we roll into the final, it can't be, well, it can be, but it's usually not the person they most suspect. Who thinks Alfonso? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey. Stick to the courage That's of right. your <laughs> convictions. Alfonso. All okay, right. Elmore. Nobody likes him. Nobody, Nobody likes him Everybody as a killer. Jake? Jake? Oh, you said Gladys. Oh, Gladys. Gladys. I'm oh, Gladys. with you. All right, All right, so clearly it's not Gladys. <laughs> no. Because you all think it's Gladys. Yeah. I think um, you could make a case for Gladys, and yeah, everybody could I mean, right she up to subverts, yeah. She, she, in some ways, does. I think right. people are listening to what you're saying, and they're saying, "Who's the least 
Likely. Likely. Yeah. And in yeah. a way, it's Gladys because yeah. she's just delivering the mail, la di da di da. And yeah. Elmore doesn't think she knows. Right. Yeah, Elmore thinks she's in the dark, and Gladys is not in the dark. No. And, uh, and, and she, Gladys loves the island. She was born there, she delivers the mail there, and she knows if Elmore really screws up and this comes out, he's going to be oh, posted that's right. somewhere else. Right. Yeah, so right, their whole marriage is at stake. Right. Yeah. So Angela, it's really understanding, right. I, I mean, Andrea, it's very understandable why she would kill her. Right. You know, it's my husband's girlfriend, yep. you know, but why would, and it's just Demelza knows too much. She had yep. to shut her up. Maybe yep. Demelza was hiking. She was one of the hikers and um, maybe she saw something. She saw, or she saw Gladys fingers. knock Jake off the Oh, oh. so she's the one Gladys who realizes. Gladys set Jake up. Right, right, yeah. right. Gladys was working. She had every reason to be there. She put the phone in her mailbag. The trail she would, they were on, it's a shortcut between houses. She had every reason to be there. Nobody would see her as a suspect. She blends into the background in that little blue uniform. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Or at least yeah. Gladys was convinced that she had. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I like that a lot. The yeah. love bus. The love bus. <laughs> and it was so dark. It was so dark. So Demelza has been saying to Clyde, I saw someone, but I just can't. It was so dark. But Gladys doesn't know how dark it was. She doesn't realize she wasn't spotted. She yeah. thinks she was yeah. spotted. Yeah. So she's covering her own tracks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Does it yep. have to be one person killing both people? Oh. No. Could there be two people in league? So who would Gladys be in Lighten league with? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it could be that Elmore, yeah. I mean, it could be a totally separate reason that Demelza gets killed, right? Then it could be somebody suspected her of being the killer of oh. Andrea. Was Clyde so they did it for revenge. Demelza? They did were very he, flirty. Just, he was, they it were was flirty. very yeah. flirty. So people might have thought. Unconsummated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot of ice. Unrequited love. Ooh, yeah. Big motor. Because yeah, if you're on an island, you don't need phone sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you can have eye sex. Um. <laughs> okay, so I think. I, I like Gladys at, actually for yeah. both. So Andrea definitely was Gladys's competition. Oh, right? totally. For, right. for Elmore's affection. Absolutely. And worse than that, <laughs> this affair could have either ruined Gladys's marriage or gotten her and Elmore moved off the island or, or both. Right. Or both. Yeah. Right. And the jealousy motive is sort of related to that. Mm -hmm. um, when she, Gladys killed Nemelza, I mean really it was to cover her tracks. I mean that yeah. was that was not so much a motive as a I've got to watch my flank. Right. Plus and then the Okay. Gladys has just seen the new postal strategic plan and she knows <laughs> it's going to take four days for letters to even just get to the island and everyone's going to be pissed at her all the time. Right, right. So there's a lot of and that the going whole, on. The whole plumbing thing is like the underpinning to the competition. Yeah, deal. yes. It's like, it's like a minor chord. It's like the, the, the plumbing is the underpinning. There's definitely like the plumbing is the infrastructure and the plumbing is there's something there. Yeah, I know. I, Oh, is this, is this done and dusted? I think so. What do we think? What do we think? What do you think? Anybody have any other ideas? Oh. Oh. That sets it up. Yeah. And, and, and Wanda and Clyde could be pursuing each of the, you know, Separate. different ones. Yeah. And that's part of their problem is that they've each truly identified a killer and they each nice. believe they're right because I, they're I so like competitive that. with each yeah. other that they won't really share yeah. there it is yes <laughs> <laughs> there you go <laughs> it just lends itself oh, to yeah. so many puns doesn't it oh. you're flushing out a killer That's yeah. right. Oh. right yeah so what's the title we need let's have down the drain our, let's have <laughs> I was going to let other people decide what the title is. I'm sure there's be. more. I'm sure there are more. Yeah. Okay, Pipe puns. Dreams. Pipe, Pipe dreams. dreams. I love it. I love it. Other ideas? Pipe dreams is great. Pipe dreams is great. Other? 
Pipe dreams. <laughs> I kind of like the love bus. <laughs> the yeah. love bus. I mean, that would say, like, yeah. Yeah. It's been a love boat, a love shack. I think there should be a love bus. There should be a love bus. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, that was fun. Wonderful. So the, way we us, the way we usually end this up is we, we auction off the right to one of you to write the book. <laughs> <laughs> so, put your hands up. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of fun. Thank you. A lot of fun. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Yep. And please stop by and look at your books and pick up a couple of already written Mysteries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which, which I promise are a little more polished yeah. than, than what we've been but talking about. But in an about. hour, we yeah. really uh, got some great ideas <laughs> flowing, <laughs> which great. is really what the beginning part is all about, is just yeah. brainstorming and throwing stuff against the wall yeah. and seeing what sticks, you know? True. Yeah. It really and truly yeah. is. So. I have to make a confession. Demel's is my cat. <laughs> oh, well, I'm a sorry cat about it. Don't kill goodness. the cat. Don't don't kill the cat. Yeah, An so island cat would have been. Yeah. We we will also be around for like ten or fifteen minutes sure. for questions and if you want us to sign books and things like that. Right, so you can ask. Feel free. Questions other than. Yeah, <laughs> other than right. We can talk about other things. Right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Oh,